other financial indicators. We're, we're looking here at uh, the ability of the firm to, to minimize those financial strain. Looking at the net working capital, the liquidity of the firm, it, um, it is positive, not only that, but it's been increasing year by year. This minimizes the threat of a financial strain, minimizes the threat of needing to borrow money to, um, to finance the firm, and financially decreases that uh, pressure. As for and as for the years, as for the long term debt, well, the debt is low, uh, and also looking at the current ratio and the um, the um, the quick ratio, it is excellent because it's a two point five ratio. We read every every that one uh, one liability is financed by two point five assets, and um, looking for the sources for financing over the past three years, shares have been around 24, uh, 24 million. So in terms of financing, you can either go equity or debt. So this fact that if they've been the same, maybe it's time to inject new shares. As for debt, you can leverage that debt, but you gotta maintain, ensure to maintain the structure of the debt system. It does not increase 0 0.3 ratio. So now in order to how to bring Le Chateau into an ageless corporation. In terms of our immediate, we will be positioning the material in the store somewhat differently. We'll be separating the lines for clothing designed for female in terms of personal as well as Cathy L and as well maintaining the men. Uh, our store will also our stores will be maintaining their footwear and accessories and we are designing the material in these stores in order to attract confident, ageless and stylish people. The idea of one fashion for all ages. In terms of our design, we will be offering the Le Chateau private brands throughout our stores and maintain our focus on fast fashion. The idea of classically trendy, usual items of clothing, however, stylized in order to meet the newest, in order to reflect the current trends on the walkways and runways around the world. The clothing will remain, be, will remain relatively inexpensive in terms of the broad fashion market, however, it's uh, in price comparison close to Sarah and Gap. The vanity sizing will remain in effect in that we will be trying to encourage the older age range to attend our, our stores and as well we'll be playing off of the unique attire. Our clothing will be unique. No other stores will be offering quite the same thing that we will be. The idea behind this is in order to encourage the youth to maintain as you are well aware we do maintain that 50% of our sales do go for the younger generation. However, we want to increase the number of older generation X, generation Y, and baby boomers that do purchase clothing from our store. So by able to attract and appeal to everyone, we will be able to increase our market share. In terms of our operations, our new, our new inventory management style, where we will be offering uh, we will be continuing our monthly turnover rate, but we will be offering smaller batch sizes of each particular item, but offering a wider product line so that more needs will be able to be met with our product. We will be increasing our quality through a new quality management program in order to focus first off with the manufacturing processes that you do have in place to help increase the reputation of Le Chateau's quality in order to really attract the Generation X, the baby boomers, who well, have recently become more materialistic to encourage them to spend at our stores. In terms of our second and third year goals from today, we will be going back to our position strategy of picking high traffic locations not only the big malls and key centers across Canada, however, all those huge malls that are creating due to new suburbia, new, sub new neighborhoods being created, as well as segmenting the stores within each of the malls, a la H&M that is currently seen in Europe. We'll be creating boutique stores, uh, around 1,500 to 2,000 square feet each, and the carrière personnel and men's stores can be kept separate. They can be near each other, not necessarily, but are depending on how the malls are set up. In terms of our value chain, we'll be maintaining the integrated process that you currently have in place, as this is one of your competitive advantages over your competitors, and we want to maintain this. We'll be keeping our design and manufacturing in-house, particularly in terms of our locations within Canada. 
In terms of our operations, this is where we'll be coming back to your quality management program. We're going to be building on your previous, uh, my previously mentioned manufacturing processes, but also to bring in the, the concerns of the raw material, which will tie into our new focus on sustainability. With the rise of social awareness today, we want to be able to have we want to have Le Chateau to meet these demands and to stay ahead of the game. In order to do this, we'll be offering, we'll be suggesting for eco-friendly materials as well as eco-friendly processes. This can include anywhere for how we enter, how we supply the energy to our stores, how we apply the, supply the energy to our factories, and more importantly, how we address the human capital needs. This can range from the human capital that is used to produce the raw materials that we purchase throughout the globe, as well as the human capital that is used in our management stores, our headquarters, as well as on the sales floor of our Le Chateau stores across the, across the nation. In terms of future expansion, the next step that we'll be looking into, given your current focus on women's product line, will be that of menswear. Currently, we'll be keeping the personnel and, sorry, the casual and business attire of the men's stores in one. However, long term, we can look at expanding them in order to create two stores for them and to increase the amount of customers that we can get through that brand as well. Which will bring us to our final point in terms of your future expansion, which is that of finances. In order to uh, facilitate this expansion and to continue your growth of sales and market share, we'll be bringing a uh, plan to issue shares and in order to increase your equity designed for future growth. So now we've been able to take it all the way through, the situation that we've had, the strategy and the solution as to where we are going to go at the end of this. Now the situation that we came into today is that we know you want to achieve greater revenues and achieve that defined yet ageless target market. And where has this taken us to? It has taken us to that strategy. The strategy where we are enhancing through the target market a stylish, confident individual that wants to bridge that gap and be able to go to either store of the personal side or the caddy outside and bring them together. That merchandise idea, having fewer, so fewer number of one item, but a wider selection of the same item in terms of different styles on the racks at Le Chateau. The reputation, a strong reputation based on quality and assurance that the quality is there at available prices and accessible prices for our target market, the ageless market, and the store layouts to cut down the sizes of stores and multiply them into smaller yet more stores in an organization. And this has taken us today to the solution, the solution where increases in revenues are there and are bringing in more sales due to this diversification of the stores as well as the reputation has increased as a store that is ageless, as a store that is there. And I take you back to the question we were asking at the very beginning. At what age can you feel confident? At what age can you feel stylish? At what age can you go through your life and feel a strong, confident, stylish person that wants to go from day to night and feel different things? At any age you can do that. And at any age you can feel young with Le Chateau. Merci beaucoup. 1830. I support you.